Hey, 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 this is Miss Valley Gaming. I'm Dread, and the game is Outlaws of the Old West. Welcome to this game, people. I have played some of this game before and found it as a survival and crafting game to be quite unique and quite good. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Outlaws of the Old West and why you may not have heard of it. Um, it is a early access game that is still in a alpha stage. Um, very, very early early access. Uh, unfortunately, it's also in a paused state right now. Uh, not abandoned, but paused due to legal matters. Uh, basically, the developer and the dev, or the, the developer and the publishers are uh, in a court battle right now. The, uh, the publishers want the game dead. Uh, they decided after a year of early access that this game wasn't making any money, this is BS, we want out of here. Um, which... I'm not going to get involved in the court case. I don't know too much about it, but that seems pretty crazy. It's an early access game that the devs are working very hard on and the company was putting a lot of money and effort into. Um, this was supposed to be a a A-lister game. It was supposed to be very, very high quality. And if you consider how early in early access this game still is, you could tell this was going to be quite the game and very unique setting for a survival game as well. Um, the devs apparently have a huge, huge update ready to go on this game, and they are legally blocked. They cannot apply it. So, battle is still in the courts as to whether this will end up going anywhere. I, I really hope the developers win and it goes on and the publishers do not win on this one. Um, we shall have to see. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to play the heck out of this game. We are going to uh, debut this today, and it's going to uh, feature on uh, the site here on Miss Valley Gaming on Thursdays and... Saturdays? Or Thursdays and Sundays. I can't remember which now, but you can check the, uh, check the schedule in the discussion section to figure that out. Um, so yeah, I like I say, I've played this game before and I, I did enjoy it. Um, it is a brutal game. There could very well be death in this game because it's very unforgiving in the first four or five days especially. Uh, very easy to die. I uh, have not gone and played this game since I, you know, played it last so I haven't uh, tried it out lately I've just got the, the key bindings written down here and I'm gonna just jump back into it and figure it out as best as we can so uh, you know just bear with me and uh, yeah without without further ado uh, I will say this game is a little bit slow to boot up so that's one thing again alpha stage of early access very very early um, basically, they put the game out and said, here you go, you, want, you guys want early access to this? Here it is. And then basically nothing got done with it after that, I think. Thanks to the freaking court case. So, like I say, hopefully that uh, gets sorted out for the best. But in the meantime, let's dive into this Outlaws of the Old West. Let's do it. I'm going to turn the audio music down just a little bit. So I don't feel like I have to uh, shout over it. Uh, I'm going to play single player. I don't even know that online would really work right now. Who knows? But yeah, I've always played single player on this, so. See how this goes. We'll see what I remember of this game. Hopefully I'll pick it back up pretty quick. I say hopefully it loads. <laughs> that would be awesome if the the series ended with the game not loading. <sighs> Oh, it's a bear. Oh, crap. Black Hat, I like it. It's got a bear. Got many bears, actually. Okay, so apparently that's tossed me into... Oh, okay, I see what's happened. All right. So it's tossed me into my last game. 
that's not what I want. So uh, we are going to suicide and start over. That's right, you. Uh, it's the only way you can get to get a new character and start again. I forgot about that. Well, that's... Uh, nope, that's doing the same thing. Okay, folks, you're going to have to bear with me while I figure this one out. Hold on. Hey, hey, welcome back. I think we got to figure it out. Uh, I had to go in and uh, manually delete files. I, I forgot this is a very picky game. A very, very alpha stage, so some of that stuff is just like things that would have been added in on the next update, most likely like, you know, being able to start your game all anew. Uh, just not added in. I know, you're like, oh, Dread, what have you gotten into? I don't want to watch this. The game's crap. Nope. I'm going to disagree. The game's not crap. The game is just alpha. So don't blame the devs. They were working on it. All right. So let's go single player. Let's try this again. Should be able to get to a character creation screen on this one. Dang. That guy's old. He's like 30. Oh. <laughs> imagine this would boot up a lot faster if they ever get an update going too. Yeah, here we go. His name? Oh, no, I... Clive Yeller. Hey, Clive. No. No, no. Let's do an all of Yeller. We'll do a female. There you go. We'll do, uh, we'll go to occupation after hair. No, no, I think she wants some hair. Okay, we can do that, I guess. Hair color. Probably there is not a lot of, uh, Her sure. Eyes? Yes. She'd like some eyes, please. Whoa! That's close. Here, like a darker blue? So we did all these now? Yeah, we gotta do occupation. Alright. Bank teller. I don't really know how this matters. Let's say she's a pioneer. Sure. Or she be 
all of yellow. Turkey. Yeah. Oh, what's that? It's the loo. We're in the loo. Maybe not. Oh crap. Someone was uh bearing us. Whoa, loading. Just like that, the coffin's gone. I think it's kind of a cool game. Okay, look at it. Neat. Look at this place. Okay, is there a map? Is there an M for map? Oh my goodness, where are we? Um I think we're about to get killed is what we are. That's not good. Maybe get in the water. Maybe that'll help. Or we die. Oh yeah, wolves. Not good. Go away. You know what I mean about, like, death in this game? Okay, so, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Not really, uh... Not really, uh... Well, 14. Well, you know, okay. Sure. Okay, bear with me just one moment there, folks. Gonna put this on pause for a sec. Alright, so, uh, let's see if we can survive around here. I don't know. Maybe. Probably need to pick up some stuff. We, uh, can we pick up that? No reeds. Okay. I know we can pick up sticks like this. Rocks. Remember what we can do with them or how. Pick that one up pretty quick. These are cotton plants, I think. Yep, got some cotton seed and some plant fiber. Nice. Look at the animals and stuff. So pretty, but very, very freaking deadly. Not necessarily the animals, just everything here. It's the old west, there's like a million ways to die. Great movie. Coyote, great. And it's getting dark. It's awesome. Why, yes, that is just what I wanted. Darkness. Have everything we can at this moment because, uh, you know. okay, you gotta have some kind of crafting menu, right? You have inventory, crafting, right there in the inventory. Okay. 
Uh, yes, we need an axe. How do I make it? Double click to put them in queue. All right. And yes, we'll take a, a pickaxe as well. And a spear. Excellent. Guess we can make a bow? No, we can't make a bow. Oh, that's why it's red. We can't make it. Hello. Should have known that, Red. Okay, so we got some uh, some wood, some raw stone, we got some cotton, got some plant fiber, we got cotton seeds, we got blackberries, yum yum. Need to eat yet? Nope. Blackberry seed, this stuff. Uh, axe, let's put the axe here, that there, and the spear will go there. Alright, I mean, it's great. I'm near water, but, uh... Yeah, version 1.3.2 on this. Oh, yes, I recall this game now. Once you make a house and stuff, there are like a ton, a ton of different workbenches. Stuck. Where am I stuck? Where am I stuck on? Well, I was stuck on that little stump. I don't know. Great being near water, except the animals come to water to drink, so that's not good. And bandits and nasty people show up at water as well. Go away, majestic animal that wants to hurt me. some rock. I can hit. I believe, yeah. yeah. The animations are a little funny, but not that bad. Can I hit a tree with this? What happens if we do? Nope. It's a horse.
Yeah, well, horses roam around. It's the old west, you know. Oh, there's a guy. I don't know if he wants to hurt me. I'll hang out with the horse. Crap. He looks like he wants to hurt me. I don't want to be hurt, mister. It's a weird noise. It's a scary game because everything can hurt you. Enough times you eventually drink, that's good. Salt. Mm, I like it, I like it. Come on, that actually made sense. It's salt. Hopper. It's that stone so violently. Take a look over here at our crafting menu. Ah, you know, mallet to build with. Huh. Do some rope, too. I don't know why, it just seems like it doesn't hurt. More tools before ours run out. Torture? Wall torch. Uh, I don't have a wall yet. It's not going to work. Okay, so I believe, if I remember correctly, you have to have the uh, the mallet on your hot bar. You have to be holding it before you can actually build something. Just thinking, uh, this might be a nice place to build right up here. Maybe right up here on this hill up here. I don't know where it flattens out. This is nice. Yes, I like it. We got a mallet. Now what do we do? I don't know. How do I... Uh... Okay, what other inventory is there? Player crafting. C. It's the same thing. That's not what I want. Do I just... Right click? Oh yeah, right click. Right click and hold it and then you can go to what you wanna what you wanna build. Foundation. Do that. Yeah. We uh walk over and put this foundation there. Put another one here. Hey, we're making stuff.
Is that just a case of that, that stick was in the way? Was that out? Yeah, I think that was. Okay. stuff all right what am i short probably rock gosh darn it yeah you kind of want to get some place built quick as you can because uh yeah bandits will come through and you know they find you without walls and stuff around you and I think maybe even a door, and a door is harder to get, I think. can't remember how you get a door now, but, uh, yeah, they just kill you. Good stuff to keep in mind, so yes. Like I say, the first few days in this game are pretty, pretty tough. Any animal can kill you. You're still wandering around in your underwear with stone tools. little bits of stone out of all this other stuff that I got. I'm not actually getting the stone itself though. Uh, where's my other axe? I have a pick I should say. Where is it? I know I made one. There, there it is. should be able to pick up. too far but I also need as much resources as I can and I need to find any kind of berries or whatever to keep me alive should be something here yeah
forgot about the uh, the big thunderstorms and the weather and stuff. Sorry, folks. Just focusing on staying alive. This is a pretty neat game for. I mean. For the alpha stage, like it's the graphics are pretty freaking incredible. You can see why they said this is gonna be like an A-list game. This is gonna be like top-notch, lots of money put into it, good quality. And I know you're looking at it, you're like, yeah, but but early access alpha stage still, not even beta stage. This is pre-beta stage. This is This is brand new with the devs still working out the kinks, man. Okay. Got our hammer so we can do some more building. How many of these stone things I got here? Two, three, four, five. Oh gosh, I don't know anymore. Okay, right click and hold it. Do this. Yes, I want one of those. Put it there. Maybe a couple more. I don't know. We'll go with three for now. Sure. Let's go back up here. Look at it. Look at all the rain coming down way over there. And look at the lightning. God, how much, how much this game did so many things right at such an early stage. Shame not to see the devs get a chance to finish this game. We get doors here. We need planks, so you had like a saw bench for that. Okay. Um, let's go back here. Old walls. Walls have door frames. There we go. Cool. Throw that in there. Now it seems like something, right? Now you can tell it's going to be something. You can put this in here. You can do it. Right. Nope. Wait. Oh. I don't care if it's facing the wrong way. I got it in. It's all that matters. to halfway. I think we might need one. Maybe. Need it to go that way or that.
Yeah, it's gotta be one more this way, I think. I think. Oops. Yeah, we got our materials again. Yeah, we're short of stone. Okay, we'll find some more stone. I think we got some right over here. Hopefully I still put a wall here. Forgot about building on hills. Not a good thing with this game. Some issues with that. I didn't completely forget, but I forgot about how bad it is. Depending on how long this goes, I may cut this episode at some point and cut it up into two. Part one and a part two. Just so it's a bit easier to deal with. No guarantees, no real plans yet. We'll see how it goes, but it's one of those games where I've already been so involved in it and I forgot when I started, so I don't know how long I've been playing. Good thing is that means I'm uh, involved in the game and enjoying it. Can I hit this? Nope. say I haven't out there many animals so far and that's probably good but you know saying that is kind of like the kiss of death to get mauled by a jackalope or a rabid fawn or something I don't know we got health energy thirst hunger temperature temperature and morality so yeah you kill innocent people and do nasty things, your, your morality changes, I guess. Anybody know where uh, I was building? Where, where to go? Was it over here somewhere? I don't remember. Oh, there it is. I see my I see my doorway. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's some funny poop, man. That is some funny poop. Yes, I think you can capture horses later and tame them. I know I got one in my last game that I played, but I don't remember how I go about it. I'll have to look some of this stuff up.
want to take down the trees right in front of my house. Give me shade and stuff. No, can't have those. Okay, oh, we gotta put in a couple more uh, foundations. Right over here. And I think we should probably uh, grab us a couple of walls, I'd say. more walls. It'll also help me make sure that I've got this uh, all proper like. Mm. Looks like one, two, four over here till the end. We need to go one more this way. Alrighty. So we overshot when we went the other way. That's okay. That's all right. Working away on my little housey. Looks well, right? One of those. Building in this game is pretty neat. Like the crafting and stuff, and even the build, like just the simplest, simplish building, without having to have anything other than the hammer made, right? And yet it's actually pretty good. if I can. My last game I made a, uh, a made a, a house, an abode, a place to live right beside a watering hole where buffalo would come. And so I ended up, it was tough to build because the buffalo wanted to kill me all the time. So that was tough. Me and buffalo guarding the herd and stuff. But after the house was built, I could actually go up on the roof. And once I got weapons, which takes a while, 
um, once I got uh, weapons and, uh, and ammo and stuff, I could actually go up on the roof and uh, and sh- shoot the buffalo for, right be like right in front of my house. It'll be like the wall will be here and the buffalo will be like here. I'd be up on the roof and I'd shoot it and come down and grab the meat. It just worked out pretty well, I thought. Okay, so question: What what in our crafting menu? What about saw benches and things of that nature? What about this right here? What do we need to make this? We need leather, which means in order to make a table saw, I will need to kill an animal and get a leather off it. Okay. Did make a bow earlier, right? I thought I did. Guess not. Grab these down here, I believe. Something. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, automatically figures out I got arrows. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, one of these here. Where does it go? Play this. Way. If you want your walls to go wrong way, you'll get really weird gaps, and you have to destroy a whole bunch of walls. That's not good. We're still okay. Definitely not great, but okay.
right. Look at that. Look at that. That is something. Okay, uh, we got some uh, blackberries here. I'm going to throw these over here. I think it's pretty much all. We got these thimble berries as well. We can eat those. Now you notice some slightly odd things like drag the black bears down here, but they're still in my inventory as well. Yep. So things on your hotbar are also still in your inventory. They also still show there. So it's that's I was hoping that would be something they would fix in this game, but obviously not while they're in a court battle. So yeah. Oh, all right, folks. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. Like, look at that. Olive has done a damn good job. She's uh, now going to eat a few of these thimble berries. So it doesn't take much to fill her up. Oof. And I'm getting thirsty, but I know where the water is. I don't have any ability to make anything right now, do I? Any kind of water skin anywhere in here of any sort? Well, I gotta make some kind of workbench first. Oh, what's this? Metal working bench. Iron ore and wood. We can make that. We can also make a carpentry bench. Oh, hold on. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah, we can also make fishing nets. Put those down in the water and then go check them after. We got traps and stuff too. Campfires. Traps here that you can use. I think what tracks, traps is you have to find where there's like an animal trail. So you have to watch the animals and watch them go back and forth in the same area and realize, okay, that's an area they will actually go and put the trap there. Okay, let's, uh, put this right about here somewhere. Whoa, that spins quick. All right, and we got this one over here. So now we got some benches happening. This is exciting. I say that, I actually need it. It is exciting. That means more crafting. Hot dang. By that I mean all of us kind of hot for a lady who lives in the 1800s. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I think that's uh, that's it, folks. We are going to call it here. I think we've done enough. I, I believe we've, uh, we've definitely showed off some of this game. Definitely showed off the building. For sure, and a little bit of the crafting. There is so much more to the crafting. I mean, there are so many benches, things that you have to have in order to make something else. It's probably, you're probably going to have like 15 different workstations in your house at some point. Um, but then you get to start making clothes, you get to start making guns, you get to start making uh, ammunition, like all kinds of stuff. It's It's actually really cool. Um, if you spawn somewhere and you're not near water, start running. Just don't stay in one place. In that case, start running. Pick up everything you could find. Make some tools when you can. Keep moving. Look for water. Go in one direction. Look for water. Um, there is a... You could find a map on online. Like, the map doesn't... It tells you what sector you're in, but you can't see the map. You can only see where you've been. That's obviously where we are and all this stuff. But yeah, there is a there's a huge, huge map that shows all the sectors. It lays out where all the water and stuff is. We tap and spawn near water. We kind of lucked out. Normally, I spend like 
I'm like, oh, I, I, I spend time before I start the game. I'm like, oh, I want to live over by this water source over here. I think this would be a cool spot. I haven't been here before. Then I spawn in and I figure where I'm at. And then I'm like, oh, I spent three days running to get to where I want to go. It's, it's one of those games. So um, the map is huge. And there are, there's, a, there's desert, there's hills, there's, yeah, there's, uh, there's snowy mountains. There's all kinds of different biomes and stuff. It's really cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoy Outlaws of the Old West. Uh, like I say, it's happening uh, twice weekly. Um, I believe it's Thursday and something else. Uh, wait, I can get it. Thursdays and Sundays. So uh, please uh, check out the next episode and uh, hit the like button. It would be really, really helpful. Remember, Miss Valley Gaming, small little play, small little outlet just starting out. We want to get bigger. We want to reach more people, and that requires views and likes and subscriptions. All those things. So any way you can help out, please do. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And uh, if we can do anything for you, if you have your own website or anything else, and you would like us to head over and watch something or uh, like something or whatever, subscribe, let us know. We'll try to help you out. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, this is uh, Miss Valley Gaming. I'm Dread, and uh, all of y'all are here. This here is uh, her uh, her first starter home. Pretty good. Uh, Outlaws of the Old West. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.